Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. All right, hey, hey, Taurus, it's Dana. How y'all doing? How y'all been? How's life been treating you, huh? How's life been treating you, Taurus? We're going to do some cards for Taurus today. We're going to see what the heck is going on out there for you guys. Probably six weeks or so, but you know, you just never know because I don't know who I'm reading to or about. So if it resonates, take it with a grain of salt. Don't make any life decisions off of my general tarot card readings or guess what? anybody else is all right all right let's dive straight in here taurus and see what they have to say spirit source universal energy i have whoo the collective of taurus with me spirit and taurus wants to know what you know what do you know about the old taurus and what does the taurus need to know and understand about themselves their lives and their futures Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate everything for their best and highest good? Please tell me where that stopping point is. Ooh, nope. Is, I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Spirit, where is, ah, right there. Where is the stopping point for Taurus? All right, and the most important thing here, Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. All right, justice in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Ouch, eight of swords in reverse, some kind of new perspective. Queen of pentacles in reverse, the two of swords. Princess of swords, the emperor in reverse. Yeah, you know, we'll go ahead and take that and that as well. And that and that. Okay, and we'll take that as well, and that, and that, and that. Ha! All right. Goodness gracious, we could read that backwards. Someday we'll have to do that, but it'd probably freak out anybody new who's, uh, you know, rolling through. Ooh, first card out. It's the King of Swords in reverse, to the Wheel in reverse, to the Nine of Cups in reverse, to the Devil in reverse, and the Eight of Cups. Wow. The Hierophant. The Hierophant to the King of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles in the center of your reading, the Six of Swords leaving something behind, the King of Wands in reverse, to the Princess of Wands, the Hanged Man, the Five of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Hermit in reverse, to the Prince of Cups in reverse, and the Nine of Wands. All right, let's see. All right, Taurus, this is what is happening here. This is what is happening here, Taurus. So, all right, so. King of Swords in reverse, okay? King of Swords in reverse to the Seven of Cups. King of Swords in reverse to the Seven of Cups. To the Lovers, to the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Swords in reverse, okay? Followed by the Wheel in reverse, which is a blockage, okay? All right, so. What's starting off this reading right here is someone who parted ways with someone else on really, really bad terms, okay? Really, really, really bad terms, okay? This is a brief story right here about the past of this particular Taurus, okay? King of Swords in reverse to the Queen of Swords in reverse, right? This is fighting, this is angry, this is um, e emotional abuse, verbal abuse. And it says here with the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords in reverse that maybe it just wasn't one-sided, okay? Maybe the Taurus had something to do with a little bit of the toxicity that happened in this relationship, okay? It was the unhealed leading the unhealed, the blind leading the blind, okay? All right, okay the wheel of fortune what's the problem universal order is trying to take place in your life taurus 
it is the wheel of fortune is the path and the purpose of your life it is the steps of your life unfolding before you okay according to universal order you are a thread a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order it continuously wants to lead you to your best and highest good but if you don't grab onto it if your frequency can't be found by it it just keeps going and you just stand still okay so the wheel of fortune wants to spin in the upright and take you to the path of your best and highest good according to your life path and universal order but the taurus is preventing this from happening because remember the wheel moves on right nobody's waiting for you <laughs> universal order goes on with or without you taurus there is no warm fuzzy guy in the sky that cares about every step of your life okay there's things to do there's things to do and if you're on board great and if you're not on board that's okay too but it keeps going so it can't take you where you need to go because there is some bitterness and some saltiness from a situation in your past the seven of cups okay this keeps you in a delusion about your emotions and i'm going to explain that a little bit more okay so ended something really bad with someone this real bad ending has you in an emotional state of delusion okay why is it an emotional state of delusion well because you are are focusing on something that has no meaning to your future all right the lovers that's what this wheel of fortune in the upright wants to bring into your life okay to the three of pentacles that's what the wheel of fortune wants to bring into your life and the queen of cups that's what the wheel of fortune wants to bring into your life okay the queen of cups to me as a reader and the king of cups either together or separately is always soul wisdom soul wisdom soul love so the lovers card is about energetic attraction okay that's what makes love right your energy their energy no matter what it is no matter what it is it could be your dog okay but your energy their energy boom it comes together and love is created something that never existed before the two of you came together that's why the lovers card is about energetic exchange okay frequency so your frequency is is muffled to the universe that's why the wheel of fortune is in reverse okay your frequency is muffled why is your frequency muffled because your mind is occupied with whatever this bullshit was over here with the queen and king of swords in reverse okay look seven of cups right your mind was your emotions in the seven of cups is occupied by what this was whatever it was for whoever it was for and because of that the universe can't find you they can't lock on to your frequency in order for the two of you to come together and universal order to take place that's the lovers right there for you what is this universal order well it is some kind of significant relationship whether it's love money uh, family friends situation circumstances it's something significant it is soul the, the 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 path of your soul the three of pentacles they need your teamwork and collaboration in order for the three of you to work together you the other party in this situation and the universe okay they want to bring in teamwork and collaboration into your life through the lovers card to the queen of cups that they need you to tap into your ancient self to understand how how silly it is to be stuck in that hatefulness of the king and queen of swords in reverse okay all right all right the nine of cups in reverse to strength in reverse because your emotional disgruntledness because of the experience that you had 
in the past with a toxic situation, okay, your emotional disgruntledness, strength in reverse, is your weakness. That's a problem. It's a problem. That's the weakness. That's why the universal order, the, the wheel of fortune, that's why there can't be a turning point here. Because your weakness is your emotional disgruntledness about that situation from the past. Yes, yes, yes. Look, the four of cups in reverse, it makes you emotionally apathetic. The bad taste that you have in your mouth from your past. And the king of swords in reverse in this instance is about the misuse of your power. You are allowing your human experience to be consumed by whatever this fuckery was back there. And because of that, you are misusing your power. Hold on, I'll get one on this King of Swords right here. Because of that, you are misusing your power. Look, the Seven of Pentacles, and take a step back and reflect and assess on how you going about doing things, Taurus. The Devil in Reverse, release your limiting beliefs and detach from your own toxicity. What's your toxicity? King and Queen of Swords in Reverse, okay? Mis in your misuse of power. You have the power over your whole existence. You steer the ship, whether you're locked onto universal order or not, depends on how you're manifesting, because you can manifest in your flesh just as easy as you can manifest in your soul's path. People do it all day, every day. The devil in the upright is manifesting in your flesh. The devil in the, in the reverse is releasing your limiting beliefs, seeing the toxicity that is blocking you from truly manifesting something significant in this relationship, whatever it is in your life. Eight of Cups in, re in the upright, reverses in my hand. Eight of Cups in the upright talks about realizing and understanding this. Realize this, understand this, because this guy walks from the Eight of Cups into the upright Nine of Cups. He walks away, when he comes to terms with the fact that he can't make happen where he's standing, and he leaves regretfully, but he walks away from it, right? He walks straight in to what it is that he does want. So release your limiting beliefs, leave this king, queen of swords in reverse bullshit in the past, walk away from it, eight of cups in reverse, because this is where you're stuck. This is where you're stuck. It goes right back to the emotional apathy, the misuse of power, and your weakness and strength being your emotional disgruntledness with the way life treated you back here. But see, you chose that relationship back there from a different place than you will choose a relationship that is based in divine order. True, 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 true. This relationship was, out of, was chosen out of your flesh, your human experience, your unhealed woundings were attracted to their unhealed woundings, their unhealed woundings were attracted to your unhealed woundings, and the two of you just had some kind of a shit show with each other. And it has poisoned you for love, friendship, uh, uh, forgiveness maybe. The Hierophant, Taurus, that's you. The Hierophant, that's you. This is referring to the lovers and the Queen of Cups, okay? It's referring to where the universe, where the universe wants to take you. Some kind of commitment, contracts, obligations, something that is in your best interest. The Hierophant being the card of Taurus is also about spiritual wisdom and spiritual discernment. And it's, it's showing up here because it's the Queen of Cups, right? They need your soul to pay attention. They need your humanness to pay attention to your soul. Your soul already knows what's going on here, right? But it's trying to connect with your human understanding, your, your, your physical consciousness and saying, hey, 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 we got things to do, places to go, people to meet, situations to experience. And we can't do that because universal order can't take place because you are all clouded and blocked and dirty with the queen and king of swords in reverse, okay? The emperor in reverse and the queen of pentacles in reverse. Just like this king and queen of swords in reverse. It's the same situation, right? The emperor in reverse to the king of swords in reverse and then the queen of swords in reverse and the queen of pentacles in reverse. 
So one person in this situation was an egocentric, self-centered, narcissistic, verbally, em verbally, mentally, possibly emotionally abusive as well, some kind of person. And the other person in this situation um, lost their power. They lost their power. They lost their, their desire to be strong in this relationship because the other person was stronger than the person on one person in this relationship is the victim and one person in this relationship is the aggressor however the victim in this relationship also is responsible for how they got themselves in this position how long they stayed in this position and and healing themselves now that they're out or coming out of this situation all right so you too you, the, the person on the receiving end of all of this bullshit is accountable as well okay all right so egocentric self-centered narcissistic out of control emperor in reverse and then the queen of pentacles in reverse upset in the home the family the finances okay this person that is the bad guy in this reading or girl in this reading is um still has power over you because you are disgruntled throughout most of this reading until we get to the bottom you are disgruntled about what you got in this situation okay seven of oh seven of cups goes up there my bad okay oh that all goes up there too all right so that's what's going on here so this person stole something from you um possibly uh i'm hearing uh possibly um uh, desecrated something that was sacred to you I'm not sure what that means but they definitely maybe they talk shit about you all over the place they did something to you that was the straw that broke the camel's back all right and, but you're stuck in this place all right the king of cups king of cups is what's coming king of cups to the queen of cups soulmate connection the ace of pentacles in the center of your reading there is a new opportunity just waiting to sprout it's just waiting it's all just hanging right there but you are so hung up on some bullshit from your past that you can't see the forest through the trees and the universe is like hey hey taurus come on with it now ten of pentacles everything you need to build a beautiful future the king of pentacles success stability security domesticality if that's a word the nine of wands resilience persistence fighting the good fight keep you need to push through this push through this the moon in reverse and come to terms come to terms with the big huge emotional struggle that keeps you connected to this which is the attachment that's the restriction to your growth which is why it's toxic okay come to terms with this acknowledge it six of swords and leave it behind to the world so the old cycle of your life can shut down and the new cycle of your life can begin to take root with the queen of cups the king of cups the ten of pentacles the king of pentacles you have beautiful beautiful new 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 nice new beautiful stuff the world says you have all the tools to close this down but you're lingering maybe you don't even realize maybe this is not someone who is who is well it is someone with the eight of cups in reverse who's stuck here but maybe it's someone who's just lingering too long in this whole situation king of wands in reverse king of wands in reverse i'm sorry to say my dear taurus is you Okay, this King of Wands in reverse is you processing this whole damn experience from your flesh perspective. That's what the King of Wands in reverse is. Processing it from your limited basic human understanding. Five of Wands in reverse. And because of this, this is, a, 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 this is the avoidance of responsibility. Mm -hmm. the avoidance of responsibility what's the responsibility well you are the empress taurus the card of taurus libra too but we're talking taurus okay that's the problem is that you are not acting like the empress the empress is taurus for a reason 
Taurus is powerful, powerful. Taurus is a couple of the most powerful cards in all of the tarot. Seriously, in the very beginning, from the beginning stages of spiritual evolution, Taurus has two of the main cards. The Empress is lesson three of everything. The first lesson is the magician, right? What you think about comes about, whether you like it or not, what ruminates in your subconscious mind becomes your reality. And this Queen of Swords, King of Swords conflict is ruminating in your subconscious mind. And it is your reality. And the universe says, no, no, no. There's a different reality that you need to check into. Check out of this reality and check into the new reality. All right? The, the Empress is, I'm sorry, the High Priestess is lesson two. What your soul, High Hierophant, what your soul is trying to tell you, you need to pay attention to because you can't hear what's going on because you're so full of your own flesh and bone experience that you can't hear your soul right? You are supposed to be in the upright. The Empress is lesson three of everything. She's the dirt of life. Taurus, Libra, the dirt of life. Why? Because the Empress understands that where her mind goes, her reality becomes. And she executes it in her life. She understands that where her intuition is pointing her is the direction of her best and highest good. And she points her mind towards her intuition and she grows whatever she wants to. As long as it is in line with your, your soul's path, right? Like I said earlier, you can manifest anything you want to for any reason that you want to. And you can. Shit's real. But if you manifest it towards the path of your best and highest good, according to your ancient soul that lives inside of you, then why would you manifest anything except the direction of your best and highest good? And that is the realization of the Empress. And that's why she's the Empress, which leads you to lesson four, which is the Emperor, which is about the, the building on the outside of what it is you've created on the inside in the Empress energy. Your Emperor is in reverse, so he's incapable of helping you be the Empress in the upright. You're out of control of yourself in this situation because you're not paying attention to the path of your best and highest good, right? And then the Hierophant, Lesson 5, the foundation stones by which you build your whole life, right? Princess of Wands and the Ace of Wands, effort and new beginnings. If you will put some effort into exploring this, uh, exploring the concepts that have been explained to you in this tarot card reading, then guess what? You're going to get a new relationship of some sort, some kind of significant soul relationship. And y'all, it doesn't mean that it's forever and always. You should want soul relationships all day, every day, because that's the thread of the tapestry of universal order. Your soul comes in, their soul comes in. Your soul comes in, their soul comes in. And we're like, hey, hey, remember? I actually should be doing that with the King and Queen of Cups. They're like, hey, hey, you remember? Remember who I am? Remember who you are? Remember the path? Remember the purpose? I have some things to teach you here. And y'all teach each other and, 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 and you do what it is that you're supposed to do. And sometimes you go on the same path, but most of the time you go out and another one comes in and then you go out and another one comes in, right? But when you're doing it in your humanness, when you're doing it in your humanness, you, you gravitate on low vibrations, because in your soul, it's high frequency, high vibration, because source is high vibration, right? But when you're wounded, you're low vibration, and you attract low vibrational people, and it just turns into a big shit show. Change your frequency by sewing this up, coming to terms with it, and realizing that, look, star in reverse. It's not your path. It's not your purpose. This particular situation has absolutely nothing to do with your journey after this meat suit wears out. So, see it for what it was. Grow and learn from it. The hangman, five of cups in reverse. Move on from loss, regret, despair, disappointment. 
the hangman in reverse. Hangman in reverse is talking about being in this place for too long. Cut yourself loose from the tree. Cut yourself loose from the tree. And there's the queen of wands to the king of wands. Both y'all had a problem with each other in this relationship. It was not just one or the other. You guys were fueled to the fire for each other. So learn what you need to learn from this. Look, the world card, learn what you need to learn. This person picked at you in one, two, three different places of your existence. They picked at you in your sense of well-being. They picked at you in your sense of self. And they picked at you in your sense of, in, of, of your identity, your integrity. And it was really bad. Whatever this was, was really, really bad. The world card says, no more realize it for what it is learn the lesson that you need to learn and carry on hermit in reverse withdraw your energy from this subject matter hermit in reverse is also you not being in touch with your soul's path okay because in the upright, it's about soul searching and introspection. Ace of Cups, we need some emotional growth from you. Prince of Cups in reverse, because you're holding on to the fragmented emotions. We need some growth. You need to sort through all those emotions, put only what you can carry in that cup. Flip the Prince of Cups in the upright, so you can be, 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 so you can be prepared for a new emotional connection to come in. The Nine of Wands, fight the good fight, man. Fight the good fight, fight the good fight, loosen up that mindset that with that ten of swords in reverse because it's a burden and a struggle. Bring an end to all of this. Stand in your power, bring an end to it. The seven of cups, confusion, three of cups in reverse, stifled creativity, and death in reverse to the ace of wands. Some kind of big, big, big inner purging and transformation for you. Tell me about this three of cups right here, please. Can I have one? Oh, look, the sun. We can't, we can't go without that. Can I have one on the three of cups, please? Judgment. Judgment. Three of cups. Third party situation. Judgment. Judgment. And then the ace of pentacles in reverse. Okay. All right. Third party situation. Judgment. The ace of pentacles in reverse. And death death to the two of cups in reverse right on all right so perhaps somehow some way for some of you this was a third party situation someone cheated on you someone chose someone over you possibly a parent a child a friend a job another person someone chose for some of you someone chose someone over you and that's what this big huge throwdown is about the lesson is about your self-worth. It's about your spiritual growth. It's about seeing this as an experience for your soul and a lesson for your life instead of a something, a personal attack on, on you, on your character or something. Yes. Purging this helps you to go into this new cycle with a new mindset, a fresh new mindset with the Ace of Swords and the Sun. See very, very clearly that the path to happiness, success, and vitality is situated in healing the inner child. That's what the sun is about. That's what it's always about. It's about healing the inner child. The path to happiness, success, and vitality is setting free the inner child. So whatever the toxicity is between the two of you is supposed to be reflecting on you what your own toxicity is. So you can find the wounding that attracted you to this person in the first place, heal it up, sew it up, stitch it up, slap some Neosporin on it, and move into into your soul path. Yes, judgment, conscious, cognitive, straight up, serious decision, understanding, ace of pentacles in reverse. Because if this person did choose someone over you, then there is no ground to grow this relationship in the first place. You chalk it up as a loss, you chalk it up as an L, and you push forward past this because unless you learn this lesson, the whole situation was meaningless, okay? All right, death, bring an end to it all so your life can transform. Find the root of this wounding so your life can transform. Two of cups in reverse, and you don't choose the same unviable relationships because this relationship is unviable. 
right? It, it is. It's unviable. Temperance. Take a deep breath. Know that all is well. Enjoy the journey. The Ace of Cups. Heal. Heal your emotions. Grow in your emotions. Princess of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Because staying stuck in a place where you can't grow what it is that you want to grow in your life keeps you in a state of spiritual poverty with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And the Alchemist. You have the power to manifest any kind of reality that you want for yourself. Why would you manifest an unhealed relationship, person? Why would you not heal? Princess of Cups in reverse. There you go. An inability to emotionally connect is the root of this card. And that goes back to the sun in the healing of that inner child. That goes back to you emotionally connecting to yourself. Yes, yes, yes. Ten of Pentacles in reverse and come into terms with the, with what it is you think you lost. And you may have lost a lot in this whole situation. You may have. But you know what? It doesn't matter because if you will now uh, realign your vibes, your frequency to healing so you can find the frequency of universal order, it's going to take you to the path of your best and highest good despite what you as a human in your flesh think might have been the path of your best and highest good. The world again, close it down. Let's step into the new, 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 new Prince of Wands. Inspired action. Inspired action. Your inspired action. How about inspired action to the stars so your path and your purpose can unfold before you? Yes, the renewal of your life, just like the world card, the renewal of your life. Remember all those cards on the bottom of the deck? Strength, overcome this whole situation. Be strong, the high priestess, because we're trying to lead you and show you and guide you. The tower the, what, that was the crumbling of this relationship, the chariot in reverse, is supposed to be because it was a blockage to the path and the purpose and universal order in your life. The Eight of Pentacles, find the lesson, work on the lesson, work on yourself. Six of Pentacles, and find some, some security in your own ability to point yourself in the direction of your best and highest good. And if you will, it will take you into the Six of Pentacles. Be the Empress in the upright, not the Queen of Swords in reverse, consumed by the anxiety and the despair of the Nine of Swords in reverse, because you got fucked over somehow by the Emperor in reverse. Princess of Swords, watch out for this person to try to weasel their way back in, because if you took anything from this reading, you should take that this is not in your path and your purpose. It's not in your your best and highest good. It is two wounded people trying to create something together that they don't have any business trying to create together. Uh-huh. Sow some new seedlings of thoughts in your mind with the Princess of Swords because you're at a crossroads. You only have two choices in a two. You only have two choices. In swords being air, being your mind, you have two choices in your mind. You will either have a new perspective about this situation or you won't. You will either continue to participate in this situation from your humanness or you won't. Those are your only two choices. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This situation can't be what you want it to be. It, it just can't. This is also a card about a lack of self-worth. So if you're thinking about getting back into this situation, you better think again because your whole everything depends on you getting out of this situation. Yes, justice in reverse. The injustice in the situation is your lack of accountability. Yes, however that hits, whomever it hits, the injustice in this situation is your own lack of accountability to your path, your purpose, and universal order. And then the Eight of Swords in reverse comes on top of all of this and says, break free from the prison of your own mind and have a new perspective about how you're going about doing things in your life, Taurus. Because there is a significant interaction and relationship of some sort that is waiting on the sidelines that you need that they need in order to complete universal order 
and they want you to realize that you're not participating in the game and they need you to uh, act, act, act right, act accordingly and push forward. I hope that helps someone. I sure did enjoy our time here today. Namaste. Do you want more wisdom, more guidance, more understanding? Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way. We will dissect the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose, with self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Despite what you have been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Who do you think you are and why?